On September 14, 2020, a US Air Force official dropped a bombshell. The US Air Force has already designed, built and flown in secret a demonstrator aircraft for its next generation fighter jet program. The statement was made by Will Roper, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics. He claims the Air Force flew at least one full-scale flight demonstrator and that they broke some records in doing it, adding that they are ready to build the next generation planes in a way that has never happened before. Now there are vague areas in those statements, made on purpose as the official declined to offer further details. At least one demonstrator may mean exactly one, or it may mean two or even more different planes. Flight demonstrator plane may mean anything really. In theory, it could even be an actual design demonstrator, much akin to YF-22 or YF-23 from the old ATF program. Or like X-32 and X-35 demonstrators from the JSF program. But more likely, it's a technology demonstrator. Basically, a quickly constructed plane, likely using some existing planes or bases to test certain new technologies or concepts. Examples for those would be the X-31 using German TKF-90 design that was the basis for the Eurofighter, or the X-29 using F-5 design for its basis. Another indication that US Air Force is talking about the tech demonstrator is a statement from General David Goldfein, made back in 2019 where he said the service needs to have test aircraft to be able to verify five key technologies for the next-gen aircraft. He also added that those technologies will not all be present on a single future platform and that they will be added over time as they mature. And breaking some records? That too is vague. It could be some records like altitude, speed and such, but in reality that statement might refer to speed of design and construction. Indeed, in another statement, Mr. Roper added, the test showed that digital engineering is not a fluke. Coincidentally, just days before all of this, the Air Force announced its E-Series program. That's referring to platforms that were largely designed and tested digitally, had prototypes constructed in record time, and then flown mature products to only validate the digital tests. ET-7 Red Hawk was labeled the first of the E-Series designs. This next generation demonstrator is unlikely to be actual design demonstrator as analysis of alternatives phase of the program just ended a year ago and a competition for various designs must first be given out to various firms. Still, it is mighty impressive that US Air Force managed to test various sub-technologies and concepts in an actual full-scale plane within that single year. If such speed continues, the sixth generation fighter might be closer than some think. For more about the 6th generation fighter efforts around the world, don't miss out our feature video coming at the end of the month. Thanks for watching! If you want to help us make more videos, consider becoming our patron. And feel free to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell button for notifications about our future uploads. If you're using a mobile device, you'll get this prompt. And remember, Binkov may talk about hypothetical wars, but only real peace can bring us all together.